Hello, class. This is our lecture for our redox titration. It is actually a lecture in analytical chemistry, lecture 12 by Dr. Joel Arcelazar, PhD, and he is the one who's created this PowerPoint. Uh, he's my former advisor. So let's start the big one. So one of the more chapter of that, we will discuss the oxidation reduction process, the oxidation state, balancing redox reaction in acidic medium, and balancing redox reaction in basic medium. And then we will also discuss the redox titration. Okay, redox titration, the titrand, the titrand, and the indicators used, and the analysis for the redox titration. And then we will have the some discussion for about the reducing reducing agent, titrant reducing agent, and titrant oxidizing agent. So that will be our discussion for today. And we will have some sample problems to be discussed on the next part of our lecture. So let's begin our discussion. So the, the, oxi, the, the redox titration involves an oxidation reduction process, which involves the transfer of electrons from one reactant to another. Consider this example below here. So you can see here that the copper changes from oxidized state into reduced state. So therefore, it is a this is reduced reduction reaction occurred in the reaction of copper be, between with zinc zinc solid, by which in turn it form a zinc ion. Kasi na oxidized siya, so naglose siya ng dalawang electrons. So oxidation ang nangyari sa anila to form with that. So reducing a reduction and oxidation. And this one here is the oxidizing agent. This one here is the reducing agent. Okay, so the oxidizing agent are agent which tends to remove electrons from the other reactant. So it will remove the electron to the product. And the reducing agent is the, the opposite definition of the oxidizing agent, which tend to give up electrons to another reactant. So it will give its electron to another reactant to form a reduced product for that reactant. Okay. So these are the common oxidation state for the element, okay? An atom in element is zero. The, mono the monoatomic ion is the same as its charge. For example, this. So the charge of this sodium chloride ion here is positive one. And then for the chloride is negative one. Then for the sodium, an elemental ion is for zero. Then fluorine is negative one in its compound. So fluorine is negative one for these compounds here. So how do we calculate for that? For the oxidation reduction state of these elements. And so how do we calculate for that? So consider this, the HF, HF, so paano ba siya naging negative one here? Ayan, so HF. So this will be our X. And as we all know that the hydrogen ion is positive one, positive one, right? Positive one in the periodic table. So Ayan, it has a charge of neutral or zero. So my dito is one plus x equals zero, transpose this to the other side to form a negative one. So therefore the charge of the fluorine in the hydrofluoric acid is negative one. Now let's check for the oxygen two. Oxygen two is usually negative two. So ayan, so let's calculate for this one. So H2O. So what is the charge of the oxygen in the H2O? So this will be uh, will be x here. And then in the periodic table, we have positive 1, yung h natin. Since there are two sub, uh, subscript here, so therefore multiplier by 2, ayan, so 2 plus, what, plus x is equal to 0. Since this is neutral, and then transpose it to the other side. So negative 2. So therefore, the charge of oxygen in the water is negative 2. And then for the hydrogen, naman dito sa may kabila natin. So how do we calculate for the hydrogen here? Ayan, so H2O. And then as we all know here, the when you look at the periodic table, the oxygen has a charge of negative 2 as an oxide. And then dito naman, ito naman daw yung X natin, which is may dalawang coefficient. So may multiplier tayo na 2. And its overall charge is 0. So 2X minus 2 is equals to 0. Then transpose this to the other side, siya magiging positive. And then, pag multiply mo yung both sides, ayan, kasi we will get a 2x over 2. So, ayan, 
2 over 2 and then x. So it will be equal. Uh, in simple explanation, yung magiging x ninyo is kung ano yung unknown na hinahatap. Okay, and by the way, ang magkaaroon tayo ng exercises regarding to this. Kaya ganun. So ayan. And then yung charges ng present, kung ano yung present nyo, is given naman sa periodic table. So sir, Pwede po ba namin tignan na lang sa periodic table yung mga charges? No, I will, require you to, I will require you to compute the charges using this method. And then yung periodic table lamang ang magiging uh, as, will serve as your proof na yun talaga sagot. Pero there are instances naman na hindi ninyo nakikita doon yung mga sagot for the oxidation state of the atoms in the compound. Okay? So let's continue to our discussion. So ayan, so we will now balance, we will discuss the balancing of redox reaction. So the redox reaction, ang redox reaction kasi composed of reducing uh, reduction reaction and oxidation reaction. So these are the the step-by-step the -step method to balance the reactions in acidic solution. So I will cut to the case to here, put an agad dito. So, balance the following half reaction under acidic condition. So, ito yung ibabalance mo. Ito yung sagot. Wow, paano nangyari yun? Ito lang yung binabalance mo, pero may nag-appear yung hydrogen. Ayun. Tapos H2O. So, how do we do that? Okay, now, ito na lang muna natin here. So let's balance the reaction for that. And by the way, the second activity will be your learning activity for this class. Okay. So how do we calculate for this? Okay. Now let's look at first here at the manganate. Kasi nga, of price of two half reactions. So our two reactions here is manganate and manganese. And then yung iron and the ferric. Ferrous and, I, and ferric. So, ang nangyari dito, syempre, ito, ang dagdagan ng charges, ito yung oxidation. And this one here is yung ating reduction. So, let's balance. Unahin natin yung manganate ion na na-convert into manganese. So, mangyari dito, kung mapapansin ninyo, wala tayong oxygen atom sa may prada. So, anong gagawin nyo dyan? When, kapag yung kung anong side ang lax oxygen, mag a ka ng water. Okay? mag a ka ng water dito. Ayan. So, H2O. However, how many oxygen atoms are present? There are four. Ilan dito? One. So, multiplier, magiging coefficient niya is four. So, balance na. But, kung mapansin nyo guys, nagkaroon tayo ng hydrogen sa may product, dito naman sa may reactant, ay walang hydrogen. So, anong gagawin nyo dyan? We, we, kapag naman lock H, magdadagdag kayo ng H ions. So, therefore, magdadagdag ka ng H ion dito. Pero ilan? 2 times 8. So, 8. Ayan. So, balance na yung ating reaction in terms of the elements present. Paano naman yung charge? So, we have to achieve the electron, the electron neutrality here. So, dito, maupasin ninyo, guys. Here, we have negative 1 and then positive 8. Kasi nga, 8 times 1. So, negative 1 plus 8 and ayan, 8. And then, overall charge nitong reactant is positive 7. While here is positive 2. Now, in order to balance the, the charges of both reactant and product, Electron yung idadagdag ninyo, guys. Electron. Kasi nga, we are talking about redox reaction. Ayan. So, electrons yung idadagdag ninyo. Hindi pwedeng protons. No. It is the electron. Kasi nga, iba. It is the flow of electricity yung pinag-usapan natin. Flow of electric current. So, that the pa natin, uh, redox reaction will proceed. Kasi yung gene-generate niya. The flow of electrons to form an electric current. Ayan. So, how many? Dito, mapapasin ninyo, guys. Ito yung dapat natin minusan. Ilang electrons, ilang value. So, 5. In order to achieve positive 2, para magkaroon ng balance between the reaction. So, you'll add a 5 electrons here. 
So ito na yung ating reaction. O paano naman sa may ating iron? So sa iron natin, Fe2 positive, siya naging Fe3 positive. Kung mapansin nyo, balance naman na yung elements dito. Ang hindi lang balance is yung charges. So ayan, positive 2 positive, 3 positive. So add electron, isang electron lang. So magiging positive 2 and positive 2 na siya. So balance na. Ngayon, i-impose na natin dito yung ating manganate here. Ayan, i-impose natin. Ayan. But the goal here, guys, kailangan makancel natin yung electron. So, cancel out electron in the overall reaction. So, how do we do that? We will multiply this by 5. Ayan, kasi nga 5 para makaramuntin yung balance. And we will multiply this by 1. And actually, it is redundant naman na gawin. Kasi ganun din naman yung mangyayari, di ba? So, ano yung mangyayari ngayon? So, you will multiply this by 5. So, you will yield a 5 Fe 2 positive equals 5 ferric ion plus 5 electron. Now, dito sa may principle na to is Hess law. You will use the Hess law principle. Pero sa may Hess law, ang may makita, meron as ng term na standard reduction potential na kung saan hindi maapektuhan yung values niya kahit mag-times kayo dun sa may reactant natin and hindi magpapagyong sign niya kapag na-reverse. So, mamaya, matatakil natin yun later on on the discussion or the next lecture. So, ayan. So, we're done with that. So, here, nag-cancel out na sila. Pagmamayosan, opposite side, magmamayos kapag same side is magpa-plus. So, nawala ni electrons. And then, ibababa-baba nyo na lang yan. Mga yan. Yung may no 4 negative or manganit ion. And then, we have the ferrous ion. And then, the Hydrogen ion equals to manganese plus 4 water plus 5 ferric ion. So this is the balance reaction for this reaction. So tamang ba tayo? Ayan. So 5 Fe, 2 positive, MnO4, 8, 8 H, and 5 3. So tamang ba tayo doon? Okay. So the second part of your this one here for the reaction of hydrogen ion, dichromate, and ethanol forming chromium ion, carbon dioxide, and water. That will be your assignment. Okay? That will be your assignment. It will be part of your learning activity. Yeah. So, tinakpan ko siya yung mga sagot natin. Tinakpan ko na. Okay, so. Okay. So, we're done with the acidic condition. Paano naman kapag basic solution ang medium natin? Okay, first and foremost, ang gagawin niyo, ibabalance niyo siya in acidic and then in order to conform it into a basic, mag-add ka ng OH ion to neutralize the hydrogen ion. And then may mga, may mga matitirang excess hydroxide ions doon. So, uh, para makita niyo, let's answer this problem here. Let's answer this problem here. And... So, ayan. So, let's balance this in the reaction. So, how do we balance this one? Ooh, ooh. So, here. So, what are the half-cell reactions for this one? What are the half-cell reactions? Okay. Uh, uh, let's have a glance. Wait, I'm just so solving ko na muna. Wait. Okay, let's now solve this problem here. Okay, the half cell reaction comprises of two. Meron tayo kan dito uh, silver plus Cl. Nag form ng HCN2. And then yung other reaction here is the oxygen. Nag form ng what? Okay. So mamaya, unahin muna natin yung ating silver. So, let's start with the silver here. The AG solid plus C and negative the form ng AG uh, C and 2 negative. So, maabansin nyo, the cyanide is not balanced. So, we'll add 2 here. And then, so, 2 electrons, di ba? Negative 2 dito and then negative 1. So, you will add 1 electrons here, right? And then, 
So, balance na dito. Punta naman tayo dito sa oxygen. Sa may oxygen naman, here. Diba kapag lacks oxygen, ano mangyayari sa may product? Add ka ng H2O. So, therefore, 2H2O. Kasi 2 oxygen. And then kapag ulit, kapag lack H, mag-add ka ng hydrogen ayon. So, 4H. So, ayan yung mangyayari ngayon. 4H. So, dito, balance na siya in terms of acidic B2. B2. Ang mga R dito is, you will add, since nasa basic medium siya, balance na siya, na siya in acidic medium, add OH to, to both sides. Both sides, so therefore, both sides na 4OH, and then both sides mean 4OH here, and then this one here, ayan, itong dalawang to, magkakaroon ng neutralization reaction to form H2O. Ilang H2O? Apat na H2O. Ayan. So, ang mangyari dito, the product will be oxygen plus 4 H2O equals 2 H2O plus 4 OH negative. And kung mapapansin ninyo, di ba? Reactant over product, akapag product, in the reactant, magkaaroon tayo ng subtraction dito. Therefore, will be final na 2 O oxygen plus 2 H2O equals 2 4 hydroxide. And then since dito ay may 4 negative charge kasi na 4 times negative 1, dito ay 0. So, magdatadag ka na 4 electrons here. Okay? And then, impose na natin si silver solid plus 2 cyanide forming a AG CN2 negative plus 1 electron. So, ang mapapasin ninyo, the electron is not balanced. Kasi ang goal natin is to cancel out the electrons. So, magmumultiply ka ng 4 dito. Magmumultiply ka ng 1. And actually, it is redundant again. Okay, so therefore, magkaan ka dito. I will write this. The AG. 4 AG, actually. Plus 8 cyanide. Or silver pala yun. Uh, cyanide to, ito ay silver. And then, 4 AG CN2 negative plus 4 electrons. So, mangyari dito, the overall reaction, so, tatanggalin na natin yan, kasi nalakan na natin. So, minus electron here, then 4 AG to H2O, wala naman. Okay, so, i-break down na natin. So, the overall reaction will be 4 silver plus 8 cyanide plus oxygen equals 4 AG CN2 negative CN2 negative plus 4 OH Tama ba 4 OH? 4 OH Parang di balance natin no, wala yun. Ayun, 2 h 2 I forgot Ayan, 2 h 2 okay. So let's see Kung tumama tayo. So, ayan. So, HCN, 4AG, oxygen, water, and then sea. So, that's how you balance the, the redox reaction in basic medium. So, acidic muna. And then, maglagay ka ng OH to both sides to form a basic. Kasi magkaroon tayo ng basic uh, ng excess hydroxide ions to form. Okay? Ayan. So this now, we will now proceed to the redox titration. And medyo na pan tayo, napahaba tayong discussion dito. So I will divide this lecture by two. And then on the next lecture, purely redox titration lang ang i-discuss natin. Let just i-digest nyo muna kung anong nangyari dito sa mga to. Okay? So that will be our discussion and see you on the next part of this lecture. Okay, goodbye.